Be humble. Be humble. What's humble? To think about others before yourself. Man, I'm in the fourth grade. I go to school to pay attention because my family is faith. At least some Baptist church goers. 15, 24, and it must be that feet of Kona that I know. I don't want to go to with a few in the alley. And lost my first page. Dog, my show was thinking badly. Older brother left, and I'm the youngest child of three. Third time is a charm to mean the chosen child is me. Papa was a firm reliever in the usage of the world. Everyone is taking a stand about something or get something. Everyone's trying to get somebody to join them in their stand. Is, let's cancel this. Let's cancel if it doesn't go along with what I think or I believe is wrong. A lot of times the focus, the focus is really and the main point of the taking a stand is the taking the stand itself. And not really even paying attention about what are you standing for? What is it about? Because you want to belong? And I, I'm going to stand with them because I want to be part of that. And they're doing something important. They're making a change. They're, something big, they're doing something bigger than themselves. Maybe it's you just really like that other person. It's, it's your best friend. Why would I not stand with them? I care about them. Whatever you want it to be, whatever you choose, whatever your opinion is, that's your truth. See, others believe that truth is the product of consent. A, a cultural consensus. Like whatever the culture says, that's truth. <laughs> Have you ever wondered how like some things, like a long time ago used to be bad, but now it's okay and good? Have you ever wondered that? God is the final judgment of truth. You say you believe the Bible. You say you're a Christian. Then you have to believe the whole thing. If you believe what any part of the Bible says, you have to believe the whole Bible, okay? So, if you believe the Bible and you say that you're a Christian and that's what your faith is, then God is truth. See, the Old Testament refers to God as the God of truth. And then Jesus said, I am the truth. Because, right, Jesus is God. He said, I am the truth. See, and he was making it clear that all Truth must ultimately be defined in terms of God and His glory. So, I was just an innocent soul. Ain't never meet you, me. I was just an innocent soul. I was just an innocent soul.